Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my candle empties. I will admit that I haven't been burning candles as much as I would like. In the past years, I feel like I've burned like a ton of candles. Like I went through candles all the time in like past years and now I just feel like, I don't know what it is if I'm melting more wax in my melters at any rate, um, I'm going to be showing you guys some candle empties that I finished. And I believe the last time I did a candle empties was probably in September. So this is for all of my October candles, which are far and few between. So this one is almost done. This is by the Forever Wick Candle Company. And this is where I got um, this little pendant with the little diamond in here. Um, a diamond is hidden in each one of these candles and I fished it out. It was probably like, I would say the halfway mark um, where the candle was found and it was super simple, super easy to get out. If you guys watch my vlogs, you will know that um, I showed, you know, basically fishing it out, getting it out, putting in the locket and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely a company to try. The candle burn was pretty good. As you guys can see, there's no soot, nice even wax pool, little bit of um, mess on the outside of the candle, but I mean, whatever. Okay, so now let's get into the candles that I actually finished. I finished the Yankee Candle Sugar and Spice. These are the tea lights, and this is the box that it came in. I got these at the outlet. I think these were like $2.50 or something like that. I don't know. They were super inexpensive, and these you don't really get a scent throw with. It's just, I, I mean, you can smell them in the box, but like when you light the candle, you don't smell it at all. It's just basically for ambiance. And then let's see, the next one I finished, this one was by Root Candle. They sent me this candle in crisp autumn. And this is like this cute little tin that you can definitely reuse if you want. Um, and yeah, this is the inside of the candle. It burned pretty good. And actually I had this in the office and it smelled so good. So for being this small, it really threw, there was no soot and I was happy about that. Um, next I have some of the colonial candles. So this one is Falling Leaves, and this is one of their smaller candles that they have. They are usually oval in shape and two wick. Um, this one didn't really give off any scent at all. I had this in my smaller bathroom, and I was a little bit shocked that I could barely smell anything unless I went up like right on top of it and took a big whiff. Like you couldn't smell barely anything. And then I also burned Fireside S'mores also by Colonial Candle there. Um, the burn on these, you know, also were really good. I just want to point out, it's just that they weren't that strong. Now, this one was a little bit stronger than the other one, which I was happy about. Um, it had like a burnt firewood, toasted marshmallow type of fragrance, no chocolate or anything like that, but it smelled pretty good. Um, let's see. The next one that I have here, this is a, by the Candleberry Company, and they also sent me these candles to try. Now, this one is their smaller one that they have in Pumpkin Praline Waffles, and that is what this one looks like here. Um, let me get the cover off of it real quick so I can show you guys the inside. So really nice, clean, clean burn, no soot at all. I did trim the wick nice and even and the smell on this was amazing. Um, I started this out in my bedroom because I think I was filming a little bit of it and then I moved it and wherever I moved it, it just filled the air. So this one was extremely, extremely strong. Um, the next one I wanted to show you guys, this one is by Yankee Candle, and this was their little cauldron, um, Halloween type candle, and this scent was patchouli. Um, let's see, it is six ounces, but it classified itself as a medium jar in the store, and this one did really well. I could smell this. I had this in my living room. Um, I piggybacked this with another candle that I'll show you guys in a second, but the patchouli just like added to the other candle, and it was really nice, and then you can clean this out and keep this little jar, maybe put some potpourri in it or something, um, for next year's holiday season. 
And then I finally, finally, finally got around to burning this candle from Bath & Body Works. This is one of their four ounces in leaves. Um, it has a cute little owl on there, which I think is adorable. And yeah, the burn was really good. I could smell the candle. I had this in my bathroom and I loved it. Um, I also finished, this one is by the Dollar Tree and it's three ounces it was a dollar and it was in the fragrance Salted Caramel. If you guys can find this exact fragrance, because I did buy other fragrances in um, this size in the same kind of like brand type thing and they didn't throw, this one was super strong. I had this one again in the study and I could smell it. It was strong. The burn, eh, I mean, yeah, it left a lot of wax. You could just put this on your hot plate. Um, and kind of even it out and things, but oh my gosh, was that good. Um, I think I bought two of those. I gave one of them to my daughter and yeah, I'm kicking myself for not buying more. And then this one is, um, by, is this Root? I think this is Root Candle. Yeah, this is Root Candle. This is the Illuminate in Juniper Rose. They also sent this to me to review and I unfortunately did not like it. The scent on the candle was great um, on cold and then when I was burning it, as you can see, I didn't even finish it. It, it is a wood wick, by the way, as well. Um, as I was burning it, it just smelled like burnt, crispy, burnt soot is what it smelled like. It was like liter literally soot. Um, you couldn't smell the scent of the candle at all. It was just plain old soot. So, um, and it wasn't like giving off soot in the air though, as you can see, like the candle doesn't have soot on it, but I was just like, oh, I don't really like the smell. It started to kind of like play with my emotions and I just didn't like it. So I stopped burning it. Um, this is another one from Root though that I absolutely loved. This was the Pumpkin Spice. As you can see, yes, there is a little bit of soot um, on the side of the candle, but the burn was pretty good. All Root candles will um, leave the glass a little cloudy, just an FYI, but it didn't tunnel or anything like that. And the scent on this was amazing. It was like pumpkin pie with the brown sugar. So it gave it like a, a real nice sweet kick. And that was good. Um, let's see. I also finished by the Candleberry Company. This is the Hot Maple Toddy. This was the other large jar that they sent me. And the burn was really good up until a certain point. This point and the wick moved on me. I had it on a level surface and it just started moving. So I was just like, okay, it is time to stop burning this candle. And also, um, compared to the other pumpkin praline waffles or whatever that was, um, this barely had any throw. So I don't know if it was, um, like the size of the jar that Matt, I don't, I don't know, but I could barely smell this. And I had this in a large open space. Um, Let's see, I also finished this candle by Michaels, or I bought at Michaels, by the company Ashland. This is Cozy Lodge. This one was like $2 and some change, so if you guys can't afford the other candles, um, you can definitely go to your local Michaels or wherever and get the Ashland brand, but this one was really nice. It had a nice smoky kind of leathery type of fragrance. It did pretty good. It did have a little bit of soot, but the burn, as you guys can see, was really nice. Um, and yeah, I loved it. So I finished that one. And then also by Yankee Candle, I finished this one in the Home Classics. This was the Midnight Pumpkin. I don't know if you guys remember me hauling this. Um, okay. So this is one wick. The smell was magnificent. It smelled like, <clears throat> excuse me, almost like a, a crisp fall night with a tinge of like manly cologne with a tinge of also like a pumpkin pulpery. It was really nice. Um, I liked it. And this one was the one that I paired up with the patchouli and it did super in my living room. Absolutely loved it. So I have one more candle to show you guys. This is the World Journeys Greek Pomegranate. 
oh my god, if you love pomegranates and you see this at your local Yankee Candle outlet or regular retail or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, Home Goods, wherever, grab it. This one killed. It was like so super strong. The burn was amazing. There's almost zero soot and oh my god, it just smelled so good. Just like juicy, fresh pomegranates. It's amazing. And this one is two wick as well, um, like all World Journey candles are. So anyway, those were my candle empties. Sorry, it wasn't more, but... Um and also, sorry, I'm probably not going to be burning a lot of candles in December. Um, I'm going to be traveling back and forth from my house to my mom's house, so I don't really know how many candles I'm going to be burning in the process in the month of December. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, don't forget to sign up for Ebates for this holiday season if you guys plan on shopping online. Ebates is excellent. You go on their website and you sign up. They don't need any personal information except for your app address as to where to send your check to. So if you do a lot of online shopping, you'll go to the Ebates website. They have all of their coupons listed. Um, and then you are transferred over to that website where you want to buy whatever and you get a certain percentage off. And then they kick back the percentage of money in four installments every year. So literally I have made a pretty good lump sum um, for Christmas and stuff like that on Ebates. So if you guys are interested, the link for Ebates is down below. Um, yes, I do get a little kickback if you guys sign up with me, just an FYI, um, but I'm not telling you guys that so I get my kickback. Just sign up, literally, because like I said, if you guys do a lot of online shopping, it is um, absolutely amazing. And also, your kickback won't happen until the person who signs up actually makes a purchase, just an FYI also. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.